Denmark. Welcome to my channel and my shop. And if you click on this tool here, you will come to a place on my website where you can see my finished projects. There's a lot of them, uh, even though I'm working on a lot of projects too in the pipeline. And uh, that's how I am. If you click on the logo down in the corner there, you can uh, subscribe to my channel and me and my staff will be very happy if you do a subscription. Hope you like what you see and come back and share my videos with your neighbors and friends and colleagues and uh, thanks for watching. Today I'm starting a new project. <laughs> uh, not that I forgot my my belt sander, but I have some problems find, finding a suitable uh, spring for the, the tensioner. So um, I'm a little stuck on this project, but um, there is some progress, but uh, I would like to, to have this spring in hand before I decide where to place and what to place where. So uh, that project is stalled a little. But I painted the, the U-shaped pieces and put them in place here so they fit my belt that I have now, right now. So um, I'll come back to this project. Today I'm going to start a new project, as I said, and um, inspired from uh, a very skilled, uh, I think he's from Vancouver in Canada, um, a very skilled uh, man with uh, a very, 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 very scientific working process. He has his own very well equipped shop and uh, I think he uh, done some inventions and uh, sold them and got a billion dollars or so. Uh, you can read about him. Uh, his name is Dan Gelbart and uh, he made, he made uh, to himself, he made a laser center finder with a laser diode and um, once I tried to make some but I don't think they it worked uh, very well, but uh, then I saw his design, and uh, I can uh, link in the comments. I can link uh, to his design and the description of how it should be built. I'm I'm going to make it out of plastic instead. What I plan to do is make a chamfer on this plastic so that. The plastic can fit on this taper here and then just put it up upon over so big that it can slide over here and with magnets fix, fasten itself to this taper here. In the first place <laughs> I have to find out how much does this taper taper and um, I think I'll clean up here and then take a square and uh, in some way find the angle compared to the table here and then I can transfer it to my lathe and make a tapered hole in this piece of plastic and uh, again this material here is echelon echelon i don't think so etalon p i don't know what it's called but um, anyway that's what i'm going to use and i struggled with uh, fusion uh, 360 to, to make a drawing in the first place, but oh my god, Fusion 360 is a little difficult for me to just just um, 
start to use. I'm used to uh, SketchUp and uh, that's a go-to system. Fusion 360 is a little more difficult I think to uh, get into in the first place but uh, okay you have to learn all your life yeah so um, yeah I'll try to find the the angle on this taper in the first place I think that can do it here and I can try Strange, 99 degrees, a strange measurement I think, but uh, and now I have to set the compound <coughs> in the exact same angle here. Now I... poured it out here in the right angle. But I'm a little short here on material. <laughs> but, um, I have to place a ring about 10, 20 millimeters wide. And then again outside this I have to put this ring and I'll use this ring here as a focus of the not a focus a tilting of the uh, laser diode so I have to make a ring here and screw it in in the base so that this here can rotate and hopefully I can do something to tilt the laser diode this way. I can't I can't make a drawing of it. <laughs> but Fusion 360. I've hoped I had a drawing. But I think I'll take it out from the lathe now and see how it fits. If it doesn't fit then okay then I have to set it up again to do it one time more. It ain't that critical about the angle here. It ain't that critical at all. So I'll take it out now. Now let's see how it fits. <clears throat> take a little more but it's not very much because of the angle so steep an angle one millimeter off here would give a lot of travel this way up I think need a little more Okay, I have to set it up again in the lathe. Now I think I have it. <clears throat> it can sit by itself. And the lip down here is just coming, just coming free of this. So that's, and then I'll have the ring here to, to tilt the, the laser diode so I can decide where it has to make the ring not focus but make the ring that I have to measure with what's important is that when this is mounted on here that you can take this on and off 
without taking off the tools. And you can do it here. Yeah. But I think I have to make it drawing, so now I'll go and and take a little learning in Fusion 360. Here you see my um, drawing in F Fusion 360. There is the ring I made on the lathe in this video with a little lip here. And I think I can make um, a ring outside here with a little finger hole here so that I can turn this ring around and then tilt the laser diode uh, which is uh, going to be included in this low ring down here. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do it right now. This ring should be loose so I can move it around following concentric to this yellow piece here. And to do the concentric part of it, I have this ring here so that um, this ring will fit inside the green ring and again will lock the green win ring to the yellow ring with some some screws in here in the sur surface here i plan to uh, make a bolt uh, holes here four or five or six small screws screwed through the the red ring down to the yellow so that the green ring can be moved concentric to the red and the yellow ring. I think I can do it this way. Now I'll have to draw uh, the laser diode in here <laughs> and uh, that's a little difficulty because I I have to make some uh, kind of a kind of funnel here to uh, illustrate uh, the diode is tilting. You'll see it in the next video. Now I'm uh, going in Fusion 360 at the moment, right now. I hope I'll be much better, but let's see.